at 430, meet a health crisis survivor. She's beating cancer and now she's beating the odds over COVID-19. Bernadette Hernandez is a fighter as well as a new mother. Yeah, while 2020 has been a challenge for most of us, it's been especially challenging for her. KQ9 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely spoke with her. Hello. Hey there. Today is the first time UC Irvine oncologist Krish Tawari had a chance to meet nine-month-old Ariana. The Yorba Linda girl will one day learn about all her mother went through during pregnancy. A cancer diagnosis, the necessity for chemo, surgery, and then chemo again. And to top it off, Bernadette Hernandez recently recovered from COVID. There is so much to celebrate after an extremely difficult year. It's a real problem with cancer and pregnancy because there's so many issues. There's issues regarding the baby, issues with the mother's health, the timing of delivery, uh, the route of delivery. It's, um, it was very difficult. And ovarian cancer itself is a big problem. It requires really um, very complicated chemotherapy and very complex surgery. It's no wonder Ariana was given the middle name Angel. She's my angel, Bernadette told me. Chemotherapy is rare for pregnant women, yet the baby suffered no negative health effects. Normally, ovarian cancer surgery is done before chemo, but Dr. Tawari says had it been done first, the patient would have lost her child. It's definitely been a challenging year. I've just stayed strong. There are times where, you know, it gets very tough and I have to just remind myself, you know, don't give up, keep keep fighting, stay strong, get through this. 31-year-old Bernadette Hernandez, who is a fitness coach, stayed strong physically and mentally during her last rounds of chemo, training for a bodybuilding competition. Two months ago today, she won five medals in the SoCal Classic, first place in women's athletic and scored in the top three in the bikini competition. And the best news of all is her cancer is in remission. In your Belinda, Michelle Geely, KCAL 9 News.